morning everyone and uh, welcome to the uh, select me meeting of Wednesday December 20th 2017 you, if you would like to join me in the pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America, States of America and, and to the republic for which it stands one nation under God indivisible with liberty and justice for all I would like to a motion to approve the expense warrant on 12 12 17 for $27,077.07 and approve the expense wire warrant for 12 19 17 for $22.92 and approve the expense warrant for 12 19 17 for $1,104.29 and approve the expense warrant for 12 19 17 for $93,963.02. You have that motion. I'll second. Is there any discussion on it? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. okay. Then I would like to acknowledge some monthly reports from other departments. The fire department monthly report for November 2017. Personnel committee minutes from 5 11 17, 6 6 17, 6 20 17, 9 21 17, and the advisory committee meeting uh, minutes are 11 9 17. Motion. Okay. I believe the fire has an anniversary. I know, I was just going to do that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And then we have, we have an anniversary. In the fire department, we have David Martell, Captain David Martell, who has been with us for 28 years. Wow, and I want to congratulate David for his dedication to this town and all of the good work that he has done here for the town of Brookfield. So congratulations, David. Okay. And then I have a, another <coughs> announcement to make. We have a vacancy on the elementary school committee. <coughs> And it's to fulfill the term of till 2018. Uh, till 2018. And what the person would be, they would be appointed until the May election. And then um, they would probably have to take out uh, nomination papers so that they can run for the rest of the um, two years that are on that term. And you can send a letter of intent to the Town of Brookfield Board of Selectmen's office. 6 Central Street, Brookfield, Mass, or email selectman at brookfield at selectman at brookfieldma.us. And the deadline is Monday, January 8th, 2018. So does anybody else have anything for now? And, uh, okay, so we'll get going. All right, again. Oh, 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 I see another one here. I have a reminder on the winter parking van is in effect in Brookfield from November 15th to April 1st for the public ways in town during the hours of 11 p.m. and 6 a.m. There will be no parking on the streets whether or not snow is predicted. Anyone in violation is subject to a $25 fine. Okay. Do we have items? Why have a seat? Thanks. Okay. All right. We have public and public access. Do we have anybody here for public access this morning? I'd like I'd like to speak if I may. Okay. Um, with the fire chief comment on public access, um, at the end of my public access last meeting, um, and he's wrong in a couple of things, but public access is here for the people. Okay. When we come up here before you three, you represent us, the people. I'm one of the us. And if I praise you, criticize you, or do whatever I'd like to say, that's my, that's my freedom of speech, civil rights, because that's under attack in this town. That's my right and everyone else's right here. All the towns have public access of some sort. And I don't think we should be trying to attack it in our town here. Um, and one correction is Mr. Helwood did not start public access last. He tried to limit it. And that caused a lot of riff in our town. We had time clocks and alarms. He was going off after three minutes or two minutes. Um, I hate to see that here. And as far as 
uh, he also that individual the fact you've said that there's no respect for you people when I when I speak myself I show the utmost respect for you three you may not like what I say because I am critical but that's my right I feel that's an improvement to the town telling you what should be changed or what may need to be changed that's my right and when I speak something and you don't like to hear it madam chairman I mean, you should not interrupt me and say that's enough David I have every right to do you that do Dave as a madam chairman you do but when i when i sometimes, sometimes you get out of hand i've never you, been out of hand yeah, on public access to, have been insulting to people which is not no, right. i guess that's a matter of and opinion is, and i feel that we've got to start cutting down these public access because the last one you were it was 20 minutes to a half hour okay well i'm, I'm gonna I'll, I'll, I'll limit it address this some more and what i feel I would probably start limiting it. We're going to talk. We'll talk about this as a board. But if you have things that you would like to say, I would like you mm -hmm. to get on the agenda. Okay. Instead of doing public acts. Okay, but no, I'm sure. back to what I'm I saying. Think, I think that's important. And, and just to, to allow another opinion before you get back to what you were saying, um, is that your point has been that the issues that you feel that you're raising are of interest to other townspeople by not having them on the agenda mm -hmm. you're cheating other townsfolk that if they want to have their voices heard and they want to actually add something to that conversation then they should have the opportunity to see that in writing prior mm -hmm. to the meeting so in the future one mm -hmm. of the things that i was going to request of the chair is that if you bring up a topic that we feel might be of interest to other people within the town i think what we will what what would be just respectful of other townspeople is to take note of it put it on the next agenda and we can discuss it in a more formal manner at, at, a, at a future time no. because it's because it's it's really important that people know what's no. on the agenda david, so their voice can be heard too david it's not up to you to say no no this, no i'm sorry right i didn't now, say no to that i'm saying no to that it's my public access and I will speak and say what I want to say at public access. Yes, what I'm but trying I'm to say, saying if you're already trying to limit my speech no, right now with what Beth I'm just saying, said. I just explained to you before is if you have things on the that you want to talk to specifically, put them on the agenda. If you will do that, I will. I can do that. Yes, we will put it on the agenda. But okay. if this public access has been going much too long. Okay, well then I will, I will keep up, it to a limit. But and it takes up time that we have quite a bit on the agenda this morning. It's all part of town business though, what I say. But what I'm getting back to is, once again, we had the selectman here who tried to limit it. And I don't think that was proper either. Bells were ringing, this alarm well, clock. Well, I, I hmm. wasn't here then, so I can't tell okay. you about what I'm talking about is like here, today, and present. Right. Exactly. And we yeah. have to move on. Madam Chair, I'm okay. to take it. I think I made my Ms. point. Ms. Ocraft is saying under advisement and move mm -hmm. on. Yes, we will take it under okay. advisement and we will move on. And this is the end of our public access agenda. Okay, very good. Unless there's somebody else in the oh, group sure. that no. is here to speak. Oh, Doug? I think my tie has changed. I just was trying to get warm. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. You're welcome. Do you have some? Welcome yeah. in the morning. Okay. <laughs> All right. Why don't we move on mm. to um, Bill Simpson is here this morning. Perfect. There he is. Come on, Bill. Come on up here. And uh, he's going to talk about um, the police department of finger print machine purchase. We had discussed this, I know, once before about buying a breathalyzer. This was with money that was left in the police budget when we built the station, right? Yes. Uh, there's $16,361.50 left in the police station account. Uh, uh, there's paperwork. There's a folder right there that he sent to have oh, the time. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. That they want you to sign. And um, Sergeant Pariso and the chief have been working at getting a breathalyzer, but because of legal challenges to breathalyzers across the state, yep. um, there's some question about the efficacy or legality of using a breathalyzer machine. Mm -hmm. um, and so that purchase was delayed because they didn't know if they spend the money, if it would then add value to the community. It, it may be a lot, it may be something that is a $11,000 breathalyzer that they cannot legally use anymore. So, and that question has not been answered at the state level. So their, their request was that we use the remaining funds in the account rather to purchase a digital fingerprint 
set up an operation which would then allow for interfacing with, I believe it's the federal background checks or, or wherever yes. they do yep. the, yep. Yep. Now, the system. Now, have they so. had, do they have anything down there right now that they're using? Well, they, I think it's, they're still it's, doing. It's, it's old school ink fingerprint. It's still yes. when, so, I, when I went to get my uh, FID, they they still doing the the old school cards. Okay. Which which the the challenge to that is a lot of people do get their FIDs in town, and, and oh, it, it, it takes a, it's that. a significant process okay. to go through that way. But okay. with the digital, it would cut the time. Cut the time dramatically. Oh. And I've gotten a lot of complaints from people about how long a lot of that takes to run and get back, and that would actually cut probably two to three weeks out of the process. Yeah. So so that was the. The request and, and they're by, all in favor of it. Yeah, Stephen, uh, the chief, okay. um, brought that to me. And, sorry. Okay. Hey, that's the chief. Speaking are you are you actually in favor of this? Steve told me you were in favor of the fingerprint the machine. The fingerprint machine. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. I, I'm assuming that, that he wasn't making that up. <laughs> no. 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 I think. And so it's a digital. Yes. And it's a, you may be able to speak more clearly as to what the. Difference. It's tied into the system, so it does almost. I don't want to say instantaneous checks, but it'll really help in, in the firearms process. Yeah. Um, you know, the, 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 the fingerprint checks will come back a lot quicker. Um, most times they come back that afternoon. So instead of them waiting several weeks to get it back, it's just one step further. You know, the initial plan was for, for a DT machine. Mm -hmm. It's kind of up in the air whether or not they're going to be able to be used in court. Mm -hmm. I would assume at some point they may be able to, but I mean, this we is can definitely revisit it when right. That the investment right. would be worthwhile. Right. Exactly. Okay. So. So so the, and the request for the select board is to authorize the expenditure of the remaining funds for that um, for the digital fingerprint machine. Fingerprint machine. Yeah, you just got some type of name on it. In place in, in place of the breathalyzer. Okay. So. Um, I would like to make a motion. I have a motion. I'll second that. Uh, it's not in discussion over. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Okay, good. Thank you. Is there CDBG stuff on here too, or? Uh, here's, here's some more agendas if you want. Want to stick them? Yeah. It, it, this it is the next one. Okay. The job is. Uh, yeah. yeah. So I'll, I'll I'll stick stay here for a minute. It's the nose of the award. Yeah. Okay. Do you wanna? Would you like to explain some of it? Um. Sure. Uh. You. Uh. Karen probably has all the paperwork figured out on this one because Andrew. It's it, he just sent it this morning and it's right there. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, that's it. Um. Okay. Essentially, we've received grant funding for the design work for um, Hayden, Hayden, Hyde Hayden Hyde and Draper and High, High Street project. So, some, and I'm not the town water guy, so I can't explain it. Yeah. But it's infrastructure improvements in those areas. We've got grant funding for it. Um, we've received bids for the design work. Um, yes, at our yesterday meeting, we evaluated the proposals, mm -hmm. and um, this is would be authorizing, the selectman would authorize the us to contract with the, the chosen uh, bidder for that work. Uh, I guess I, it will, is it Leonard? Can I see, uh, uh, yes, it's uh, Leonard Engineer. Yeah, Leonard, Leonard Engineering. Engineer, yeah. So that would, this would then pay, I mean, all the money is in place through the grant, so this is uh, yeah. authorizing us to expend it. And I know it says it's um, the final contract with the price is not to exceed $39,550. Correct. And that's all CDPG funds. And that's the design work for the Yeah, that's the design. Correct. The design work. Okay, I would like, um, I'll do this. Do you have a motion to accept? I'll second. Any discussion? Okay. Karen will send that along to Andrew. Yes, I'm ready. Yeah. Great. And Bill, I'd like to thank you for all the hard work you did here at the town, for all the things with the friends group and your CDG. You know, I appreciate and that very much. We, we signed the town hall bathroom paperwork last meeting, correct? Yep, so, that's fine. so that should be coming that, that to you. Goes a long way, so. um, uh, actually, I'll sit down for one more second, if I may. Um, <laughs> sure enough. The, uh, I'd like to just, in, in public, uh, really give praises to Al Jones and um, Don Taft for the furnace work that they did, working with McDonald, because mm -hmm. they did a great job facilitating that installation okay. of the furnace. And um, also, um, Al and, uh, uh, who's the guy who does the clock? Skip, oh, Nielsen. Skip, Nielsen. Skip Nielsen Skip. with their work on the clock. Okay. I think it's it's been tremendous what they've done and it, at no cost to the town and 
because of their connections and relationships. We've gotten Sturbridge out here yeah, to bring the fire trucks to, to, to at, at make no it very cost. safe. Yeah, and it's a safe way to access yep. it. Um, so they were able to pull down the front dial. They're going to get the gear replaced um, at no cost because of other also connections that, that Al has that's with wonderful. with another company. That's so um, I just really want to say it's. it's I'd like to congratulate them. All. Yeah, the two of them have, have done it's tremendous um, work. Well, Al, the three, Al, if you're talking Don for the furnace too. So. Al Jones and it's Skip Nielsen, Nielsen and, and, and Don, Tapp. Don Tapp, and I would like to thank them for all the hard work that they've done here for this community. They've done, they've done great, great stuff. Mr. Nielsen used to be a slot man. Yes, he did. And he lived to him. We want, do we want to send them a formal note? Yeah, we can send them. Yeah, we could. Karen, yeah, we okay. can send them a note. That would be great. Um, and then were there any other questions? I think that's, that's, that's it for it. me, right? That's Thank great. you. Thank you. And that's all three parties. <clears throat> all right. We to send it to Okay. Okay. I would. Uh, uh, the chief probably uh, yeah, has to get back yeah, down. We want to get back. We'll take that. I would like to bring it up it. under other. Okay. And before I go on, I would like to yes. congratulate. I had the pleasure of going to a um, meeting of the Mass Police Association, and, and to the dinner I was invited by Chief Blanchett, and he is now the president of the Massachusetts Central, Mass Central, Central Massachusetts, Massachusetts Police Association. Great. So I, I'd like to congratulate him. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, see. Sorry, this is short notice. Oh, no, that's, yeah, that's we just want to make sure that you have what you need for, for January because I know yeah. that scheduling's been such a challenge okay. for you. Okay. So I, I'm looking to appoint Richard Cavalieri, Matthew Niles, and Justin uh, Dufault as uh, reserve officers, uh, starting out at $16 an hour mm -hmm. and the effective date, appointment date until June 30th of 2018. Uh, do any of them have any any training? Yeah, um, Richard Cavalieri is a sergeant with the Worcester County House of Corrections. Okay. Um, he is also an operator on the uh, on the SEMLAC unit, which is a SWAT team for, mm -hmm. for Worcester County. Okay. Um, Matthew Niles is currently a part-time police officer in North Brookfield. Um, he is a full-time firefighter um, in the town of Ludlow. He's a firefighter um, paramedic in, in the town of Ludlow. Justin Dufault is a full-time um, police officer with Springfield Technical Community College. He's also a member of the National Guard um, and a volunteer fire, firefighter for the town of Munson. So all those <coughs> skills will come in very handy. He is full-time academy trained. Okay. Um, but again, he's just being appointed as a, as a part-time position. Well, with all of their, you know, with what you told me, and they all three of them sound fully qualified. Yes, people. absolutely. Um, and, you know, they went through the interview process, and, and, and they were they were good. So maybe our next meeting after the first of the year, you can maybe bring absolutely. them in. Absolutely, I'll definitely bring them in. Introduce them. Yeah. Course. Yep, absolutely. I'll bring the three of them in and, and introduce okay. them to, to you guys in, in the town. Okay, so, so motion to move forward. And I'll second that. Any more discussion? Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Thank you very much. Karen, I'll have all the paperwork later on this afternoon for you. Okay, great. I'm going to do that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks for fitting us in. <laughs> Take it easy. All right, now we're going to, uh, it's a discussion about a grant writer slash developer position. It, this is a discussion over. And uh, Clarence, would you like to lead the discussion yeah. on this? Well, uh, there's, there's work to be done mm -hmm. um, in the area of grants. This, by the way, I spent yesterday afternoon at UMass collecting the final documents on mm -hmm. the uh, Tobin Campground. Um, and I spent uh, a good deal of time over the last year uh, managing that I grant. Know you have. You worked I mean, very hard. And, and so we've got that, and there's, there's more work to be done. Mm -hmm. So just as that example, and I, I would then look to have you look back to the history of the highway department, where over numbers of years, you've probably averaged in the order of a million or a million and a half, a million oh and a half dollars a I'm year. <laughs> And we've, we've quite honestly been paid to, to have her work. So mm -hmm. the town really didn't pay for her services through, the, through each of those years. So what, I, what I'm recommending or suggesting, mm -hmm. and again, there's been conversations about town administrator. I'm not, and I've never talked about a town administrator. Mm -hmm. What I'm talking about in, in my interest 
is to have someone focused on this building, and especially as we've now started to move forward on the reconstruction. There's maybe hope that we can get to the second floor. There's lots of work to be done. And there's, there are grant monies. Um, the, the next cycle for Mass Historical is January. That's the, the clock starts on uh, getting 50% money, and it's there. So what I, what I was recommending or suggesting is that a role, and it could be part-time, where you actually have a person go secure the grant and then manage the grant and manage the work. And again, when, I, when we just talked about the clock, I mean, Al's job is not to climb a, a, a ladder truck to take keys off a, a, off, off a, uh, off a building so, or, or clock hands off the building. So again, it's taking time away from Al's work. Uh, if we look at the furnace, it takes time away from Al's work. Bill is a full-time person. He has a business. He, out of the grace of yes. God, he's mm -hmm. able to do the things he does. And so what, what I'm suggesting and recommending is that we strongly consider um, at town meeting um, uh, putting forth a position, which would be a part-time position, um, focused on the securing of grants. Um, and the management. And the management is important okay. because mo many of these grants actually have administrative dollars that tie to them. Where where the again, can self fund the, by you self fund the darn yeah. stuff. So this would be something I could bring forward with the uh, personnel board. Mm -hmm. And can you maybe write a job description? I sent an email to Karen. Okay. That uh, yeah, while you were away, I, yeah. I sent an email to Karen to describe these functions. Okay. Um, and I and again, I think the job pays for itself. And then what we can do. Our next meeting is that we can, you know, go over it and write the position for yeah. how much we feel it should be paid. And maybe you would want to come in too and do some more explaining. Come more more than happy to. Okay. And um, we can even, in, uh, if we could get it in, we haven't set up, I know we haven't set the January meeting. Has free cash come back at all? Well, that was another thing we probably ought to talk about is our timing yes. for those meetings. Yeah. Because if we could get it done, we could bring it up and put in the job classification for the special meet, I don't know if we'll have time to do that or if we have well, to wait until spring. No, I, 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 I mean, wait for it. I think I think it ought to be spring. I mean, I, okay. th right, there's no rush to do this. Oh, right. but, yeah. but, but at well, the same I mean, time, I wanted to get it on the table to say, sure. so I was not talking about a town administrator. I haven't talked about a yeah. town What I'm talking about is a way to successfully yes. improve this building. I, I agree with you totally. And there should be you know, somebody coming in to do this. I mean, I commend Cindy for all the hard yeah. work that she has exactly. done. And I know it takes time out of her job. And I'm, I'm probably even here on her own personal time doing these things. Many times. So we do need, it is a need to have somebody come in and do this. And so I would like to uh, make a motion that we go ahead and uh, develop a position for a grant writer. Yep. Develop a position. I'll second that. Um, yeah. Oh, that was your motion, yeah. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next time All right. Karen, could you just jot me a little note for when we have our next personnel meeting and, mm -hmm. and Clarence will come and he will bring yep. in the job description. And we will have to post that, oh boy, as a joint meeting because it will be the both of us there. Yep. Yeah, yep. we have to do Let's that. Let's do it. Okay, now the next one is to sign the HR agreement with um, this, this was money that we got from, from the community compact that was awarded to the personnel board and there was two different ones. There was one to help us like with our, with our personnel book was 15000 and the other one was to get help with an HR person for another 15000 and so um, I think this is good. We got this, fit and we um, would like to hire the. It's uh, from the Collins Center up at UMass. UMass. It's a public management, and uh, I would like permission to sign this contract. You have a motion to sign. I'll second. Um, any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Pardon me? You, it's a little bit to fill in or I can do that. I'll fill, fill in the rest mm -hmm. of what you just signed. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, now we have some more uh, common that was licensed to sign. That's on our, that's next one here. All righty. 
we have one here for uh, we can probably take them all and you know we'll ma I'll make the motion to sign all of these and to accept them uh, so the first one is for Bay Path Spirits and the manager is Peter J. McNerney and that's at the corner of South Maple and Maple Streets. The ne next one is for uh, Patricia White, DBA, White's Landing, Castile Road. Okay. That's, all, that's a whole packet. Oh, okay, all right. Sorry. Sorry. The next one is for Boswell Enterprises Incorporated, DBA, Central Package Store, Jason Boswell Manager, and it's the corner of Central and Pleasant Street. And the next one is for the General Dollar Store at Route 9. Okay, and this is another one for the original clam box. And it's Nicole Said is the proprietor. And that's on 53 South Maple Street. And then there is one for the Brookfield Rod and Gun Club. Um, and this is for the entertainment license and the jukebox. And it's uh, manager is Sue Ellen Grimes. Okay. And this is another one. It's for the Tip Top Country Store. Uh, Sarah Hella, proprietor. And that is right next door here on Central Street. And the last one here, I think that's the last one. Cups are just two more. Oh, it's just two more there? Yeah. Okay. All right. And the next one is for Cumberland Farms on Route 9. And the next one is for the Brookfield Congregational Church, which is right next door to us here on Central Street. Yeah, I we have a motion to sign. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Okay, I'll pass them down. agenda this morning is um, special use permits. These are more I think for the fishing. There's only one. But there's only one and this is for the uh, for the fishing derbies that are held on uh, play ball. The endless fishing derbies. Okay and let's see. The requesting is Nessabon 14 foot small boat division east map. That's what it says. So I would like permission to have the clerk to sign this special permit. 
Do you have a motion to that effect? A second. I'll find discussion. All in favor? Aye. 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 I think we have. Other we already did it, so. Other we already yeah, did it. Yeah, which were the appointments, so. Just. All right. So, uh, okay, then we have some uh, correspondence. Is that in the purple one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have some correspondence here from Boston Gas and National Grid. Okay. Um, for Boston Gas, it's a typical, uh, what it is, it's a typical residential non herring customer using 90 thumbs per year will experience an actual bill increase of $33.94 or 15% more on their bill. And the other one is a typical residential heating customer using 775 four therms per year will experience an annual bill increase of $80.17 or 7%. Is there any questions on that at all? Well, that was based on, uh, they're, mm -hmm. they're requesting approval of those rates yes. based off of some infrastructure enhancements, yes. correct? Mm -hmm. okay. So that's just an announcement, we didn't have to vote on that. Right. Okay, now this is another one. This is a new release from National Grid. Okay. Customers who reported the scam, there's, I guess there's been some scams going on. And they said that um, customers who reported the scam say they were contacted by telephone by individuals who claimed to be from National Grid who advised the customers they had past due balance on the utility bill. The scammers warned that services will be shut off immediately unless the customer purchases a prepaid debit card in a specific amount, such as Green Dot card, and providers and provides the caller with the card's account number, or in case of business customers, by way of a Western Union money transfer. This is a huge warning mm -hmm. not to sign these. Any comments from anybody on that? There, no, there was there was one thing I forgot to bring up on the other. I don't know if you wanted to entertain it or not. Um, I know Karen's been doing a phenomenal job getting the minutes out, um, kind of more timely to the meetings, but um, I had a couple of, of uh, different department heads request if it's possible to get um, a copy of the agenda and just like really short, quick notes, like a, a, a bullet point or two about what we discussed in the Selectman's meeting, just so they're aware of I, it. I don't, I haven't done that since I've been here, only because it's the time factor. If yeah. anyone requests anything, okay. I'm glad to do yeah. it, but I'm I'm hesitant to do yeah. that because it just, it, the, it it's difficult enough to get all the minutes yeah. out in time. Okay. I just don't want to commit to yeah. that. So Fair enough. Okay. Yeah, I agree. She cared about People are welcome to commit, I mean, they're welcome to come to the meetings. It's also on. Absolutely. Uh, cable access. Yeah. I mean, uh, Sharon's pretty speedy in putting it on, from what I understand. So. Oh, she puts it on. Oh, oh right off the bat. Uh, correction. I'm not the one responsible for yeah. posting them. That is Danielle Kane, who has been doing a fantastic job. Credit to her. Credit to her. Yeah, they can okay. view it I right know. after. Karen, Karen does. She, she is busy here during the day, and I really think like she said, she doesn't really have the time to do all that. But there's plenty that they can see. They can come in here, like Karen said. They watch the. They can go on YouTube because the meetings are on YouTube. What within a couple of days? Uh, it depends on Danielle's schedule. Yeah. We yeah. try to get them up between uh, three and five yeah, days. I know yeah. they're very active. So, they're sometimes good. it's a week and a half, yeah. but that's the most delay. Yeah, and, but they are free to come in here and see Karen and see the minutes of the meeting. Okay. <clears throat> okay. This, this brings up an, an, another, another thought, Madam uh, Chairman, for you to, to entertain. Uh, Back to the timing of the work that the finance team is doing. I mean, one of the other things that we've slowed down yeah. is the meetings uh, <clears throat> with the, empl the employee meetings, yeah. and so and we've delayed that for the mm -hmm. simple reason yeah. we're busy with this other stuff, and okay. that's more, much more important. Yeah. So, so we've kind of lost the link of link of communication, which is fair. Um, what uh, do we have an inkling as to what we want to do as far as uh, this special town meeting? If you had, had any thoughts, or should we do that in early January? We should probably do that in early January okay, so because I don't know if we have had the um, full audit results. We yet. have heard anything about the free cash has been certified yet? Yeah, well, that's what. I, so I'd love to you to have a conversation yes, with them. Yes, I will yeah. have a conversation. Yeah, and then on the ninth, we can we night. can we can start the. Carrie, and then I also um, 
would like to have after the first review. I'd like to have a review with the treasurer and have yep. the um, yep. chief come in with her also. I'd like to have that on the agenda. Yep. And I will talk to Carrie. Maybe I'll have the whole finance team come in too. That'd be excellent. And I'll just report. And, and if Karen has the time, I'll have Karen take some notes and then we can report yeah. back. And we can kind of noodle it, timing okay. to get in front of. Uh, and then, um, now are you going to have a round table to finish the procedures book? Well, that's what I want to start off. So maybe the ninth, if we have that on the agenda, we can have a conversation as to that timing because I do. We're at the the section for the treasurer, so we're absolutely okay. at that point. Right. But again, I do not want to uh, interfere with the work that they're yeah. doing. Oh, I know they they were all doing an excellent job, and they've been so busy catching up and trying to work as hard as they can. Well, and that, that also brings up the uh, other idea of the grants and what grants might be available. There might mm -hmm. be grants yep. uh, to take another step. We, we've done a good job with the, with the employees as to upgrading that document yep. and revising mm -hmm. it based on the town's procedures. But I think we, we need to consider something more. Yes. And so once we kind of lock in on the mm -hmm. first round or first revision, then we can look to other grants possibly that, that might be managed. Okay, another thing that was mentioned to me today is um, the finance, um, the treasurer and the assistant treasurer would like to have um, a round table and they think they would have me check, you know, the facilitator. And what they would like to do, I think there's been some problems in filling out invoices and problems like that. Yep. So they said they could show everybody just what they need. You know what is their responsibility with addresses because it's not the responsibility of the treasurer to have the proper address it's up to the departments that are, that are filing these invoices so maybe linda what i can do is pass on the notebook that's got the changes mm -hmm. because like i say we're at the treasurer's section mm -hmm. and we never got that far because mm -hmm. of the audit activity so now that's a th those kinds of things yeah. are the the exact things that mm -hmm. want to be in that procedure yes. So let me hand between now and then I'll okay. give to Karen the notebook okay. and, and uh, highlight the area that you should consider okay. when you when you facilitate that meeting. Yeah, because they want to do that. They think Perfect. it's very important. <laughs> it is. It is. Uh, okay, that's the two handling. All right. Well, um, I'd like to have a motion that we will um, adjourn. It's tied the meeting to go into executive. We have one more. <coughs> one more one, thing. One more, okay. One more other. So I spent, as I said earlier, I yeah. spent yesterday at, uh, afternoon at UMass. This is the final report of the uh, campground. Mm -hmm. This is the educational uh, uh, resource summary and the recommendations for for what future activity goes on. This is a public document that can be distributed, and this is the National Historic Application registration. Okay. What I'd like to do is on the January 9th meeting, if I could have a moment on the agenda to explain these things and and further what documents would be here and would be held as confidential because things have to be held confidentially. Yes. Oh, and so we'll do that on the 9th. Okay. And now I would offer a motion to adjourn to move to executive Can I session. Ask a question? Are you going to continue morning meetings or are you going to why are we having morning meetings versus well, the, the reason meetings? we had it because I was away and I didn't get until last evening. So this is why we had the morning meeting today. Okay, because you had one prior to this too. Um, last that week. was to discuss a couple of things. We went to an executive board session. Basically, that's what that was for. So, but you're going to go back to the you. Oh yes, okay. but if something does come up, David, that we <clears> feel <throat> we have to meet in the morning, we will meet. Right. And exactly. it's you know, and it's our discretion to do that. And, and and you know I'm full time employed and I'm probably I'm the one that's hardest yeah. hardest on but yeah. you know if that's what I need to do in order to properly service the town then mm -hmm. I'll make arrangements. Okay, but I mean you're gonna sure. also keep uh, maybe other people in the community would like to be at the meetings too, a different different uh, on the agenda different different what, things. What during the morning? No, in at the night. Evenings. Oh, yeah. we will that's do them. Right. That's what I meant. Yeah, too I many morning meetings. I just told right. you why. We no, no, I understand. Those. I'm just going on what Beth said. Mm -hmm. And um, before we, do we have a motion? We have a motion to adjourn, which, which does not oh, and allow discussion, so. And, it's, and we will go under, I should probably say, um, it goes under exemption number six, to consider the purchase, exchange, lease, or value of real property. If any discussions may have a detrimental effect on the negotiating position of a governmental body and a person, firm, or corporate corporation. 
Uh, you have that motion. A second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Lincoln, aye. Snyder, aye. Coughlin, aye. And then we will go back into work regular session. And for adjournment. For adjournment. And is, is that still going, Sharon? Yes. I would like to extend my, on behalf of myself and the other board of selectmen, a very Merry Christmas to all of our residents. And I would like to thank them for all the support that we've had over the years. And I also wish them a very healthy and prosperous new year. And we will not be meeting again until the 9th of January. Good job. Okay. Okay.